Hey everyone, uh, my name is Tamara Morris and I have taken over DETV today. Um, I work for Newcastle County Government. I'm the Director of Economic Development and we're a little short staffed so Alvin, Ivan Thomas is out here cleaning up from our event just now so I've taken over. Um, we just launched nccinnovates.com today here at The Mill and we just wanted to share some of what we're working on with you. I have the County Executive here, Matt Meyer, um, and I just want to say that one of the really cool things um, about working for um, an elected official who is not a politician is that we identify need, we identify problems, and we actually get things done. So I just want to ask you a few questions about kind of what led to your, actually that is the question, what led to, number one, you wanting to run and then you taking a stance on being so supportive um, to, in the arena of entrepreneurship? Yeah, it's interesting to me because we work together and I don't think <laughs> I've ever told you why I wanted to run and, and really my story. I was, uh, eight years ago I was in Iraq, I was a diplomat in Iraq and I lived and worked uh, all over the world and was ready to come home. So I ended up coming back and I worked for Governor Markell in Delaware as an economic advisor just for six months. After six months, I had a choice of going sort of the political route or going to do something else. And I said, I want to go do something else. I don't want to do this politics stuff. It's just not for me. This world is not for me. And so I went back to kind of my roots. I was an elementary school teacher after uh, college and I always wanted to be a middle school math teacher. I never had that opportunity. So I said... I'm going to go be a middle school math teacher, and that's what I was planning to be. And what happened was I, I went and started teaching 6th and 7th grade math at Prestige Academy. And I started to see some of the local leadership we had. And when you see people in elected positions who you feel like aren't leading the way they should, and you feel like you can do it a little bit better in a way that makes difference in someone's life, you're, yeah. nothing could stop me then. And so I said I was going to run. As you know, I ran against a three-term incumbent. I was told by multiple people, people I was close to, the governor I worked for, that it's just I couldn't win in a primary against a three-term incumbent. I had no money. I did it anyway. Uh, and a lot of it was based on my entrepreneurial experience that when I started a footwear company in Kenya, uh, you know, coming from Delaware at the age of 23, so many people told me, you can't do it, you can't do it, it's not going to work, it's not going to work. Uh, and it worked and we grew to a 30 employee company. And so when I started to run and everyone's like, you can't do it, it can't be done. I'm like, I got them right where I want them. <laughs> this is mine now. So uh, then as you know, you know, we're, when we met really was, was uh, well, shortly before I got elected, but once I got elected, the game changed from yeah. winning an electoral battle to how do you govern and govern right yeah. and govern in a way that's true to yourself and true to the people who elected you. And I think you know, we struggle with that and work hard to do that every single day to make sure that we're actually supporting the people of this county and you know every day not forgetting that we only have our jobs because of them and because right. of you all. Right. So today we launched nccinnovates.com and so it's a two-pronged um, um, way of supporting the entrepreneurship ecosystem that's developing here in Delaware, in Newcastle County. So it's a grant opportunity through pitch competitions. It's also a business portal. So tell me, other than being an entrepreneur yourself, why is it important for us to be an example of support for entrepreneurship in Newcastle County, in well, Delaware? Tamara, you know running economic development for the county. The economic development can mean so many things. Yeah. You can fashion almost any program as economic yep. development. When I go to meetings of different county executives across the country, other elected officials across the country, you know I just went on a, on a delegation of elected officials to China, and even there, you get a real sense of the degree to which we're all in competition mm -hmm. now. That if we can be the best place, or one of the best places, for entrepreneurs to start a company, you will see the next Amazon growing right here in Newcastle County. But it takes a lot of thought, it takes a lot mm -hmm. of planning, as you know, a lot of work to figure out how do we find those people who are really, really um, good at creating jobs, at turning ideas into action, and make sure that there's a nurturing environment here for them to grow their company, to have yeah. a quality place to work, to have a quality place to find and nurture talent 
and have a good quality of life. Yeah. So those are the things we're working on. We're honing on how do we make sure we get entrepreneurs and innovators who are here to stay here, and how do we make sure those who are not here are tempted or attracted to coming here. Right, I, I agree with you. So I would like to know, so after, when this is all over, when, when we move on from our experience at Newcastle County, what do you want your legacy to be? So imagine if through this NCC Innovates program, right, over the next six years that we're in office, if we're given another <laughs> four years, right. right, we have six years, right, let's say each year we help support 10 companies. So over the course of six years, that's 60 companies, right? Companies, as you know, when you start a company, DETV is one of our shining success stories. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations for you on your new position uh, <laughs> while Ivan cleans out back. But DETV is one of our shining success stories where it's actually surviving and thriving. Right. right? But let's be honest, most startup companies three, four, five years down the line don't work out. So let's say of the 60 companies we invest in, right? we invest in nurturing, let's say 90% of them don't work out. Right? 90% of those companies don't work out. So that means 54 of the 60 companies don't work out. So 5, 10, 15 years from now, 54 of the 60 companies are gone. Well, that leaves six companies, right? And let's say five of the six companies have 10 to 20 employees. And then you have a sixth company that has a couple hundred employees, right? If you do the math there, you're talking about hundreds and hundreds of people who have jobs, who have a, a living because of the work that we've done, and then once they have a job, who knows what other industries and opportunities will develop from that. You know, the CEO of IBM right now, she likes, and it's important, she yes. likes to say, the CEO of IBM likes to say that kids who are in first grade, starting first grade this fall, mm -hmm. by the time they graduate high school, 50%, 50% of the jobs that are gonna be job opportunities for them don't even exist today. Wow, it's crazy. 50%. So that means that the economy is changing in dramatic ways and is going to continue to change. So we have to make sure as leaders, we're putting our people and our dollars and our community in the right place to be successful, not just for yesterday and today's economy, but for the economy of tomorrow. That was a good answer. <laughs> so I just want to say that I really appreciate the opportunity that you've given me to work with you in Newcastle County. I believe that uh, NCCInnovates.com is definitely going to be a tool that small business and entrepreneurs, small business owners and entrepreneurs can use to help them go from where they are right now and move and continue to grow throughout their journey um, of entrepreneurship. Um, so in 30 seconds, County Exec, tell the people why Newcastle County. Well, Delaware is the best place in the world to incorporate a company. I think most corporate lawyers will tell you that the overwhelming majority of Fortune 500 companies know that. What entrepreneurs outside of Delaware often do not know is there is an extraordinarily smart talent pool here, particularly in financial technologies, chemical technologies, and port and logistics technologies. Um, and they also don't know there's an incredible nurturing environment here. There are some entrepreneurs they really want the big city life. They want to be in a New York. They want to be in a San Francisco. With them, it's hard to compete right. for that talent. But there are a lot of entrepreneurs who don't necessarily want that. They're looking for a more nurturing environment. Here, if you start something and start hiring a couple employees, you have a cool product. Senators, governor, they're going to come yeah. sit down and talk to you. They'll take you out to lunch. They want to know what we can do to help you to, get, to, to grow your business, uh, to become a global business based here in Newcastle County. So that's just one of the reasons why Newcastle County, <laughs> Delaware, the first county in the first state, is the first county in the first state for business. Yeah, so check us out. Um, for more information about how Newcastle County can help your business, help you grow, help you explore new opportunities here, check us out at nccinnovates.com. Thanks for watching.